Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here. It's Tuesday, you know, Wednesday morning. See, I never know what day it is. It's Wednesday morning. I slept in a tad till like shortly after eight. So, I mean, it's not like it's 12 o'clock or anything. Uh, I just got done packing all my shit up and now I'm going to head to breakfast and drive back to Virginia Beach. So, I stayed up way too late as usual and uh, life on the road. Let's go eat. Hey, kids, Road Raging Monkey here. Want to know what I hate? I bet you can guess. When some jackass is in the freaking fast lane and won't get the hell out of the way and multiple cars have to go around them. People, get the fuck out of the way. It's not that hard. You're driving slow as shit. People have to pass you. Move over. And in case I hadn't mentioned it before, it's a freaking law. You're supposed to move to the right. Yeah. Okay, kids, I'm home. I've been home for a while now. I didn't eat anything and I just cut up a bunch of strawberries and had some of those because my wife will be home, I don't know, like a half an hour. But in the meantime, I just wanted to show you what I did here in the garage. So this is what I was talking about. Let's see if I can do this here. Oh, because this thing's so heavy. Okay, so that's the little holder that I was talking about. And it just oy, just goes on there like that. And then I have the charger sitting down here and I have it sitting on this saw so that when I plug it in, it's, it's basically sitting there on metal instead of on carpet or anything else because that some bitch gets hot. Uh, and to the point of I uh, thought that the damn thing was gonna catch on fire, which I've heard in some instances that it has more or less started smoking and burned out. Uh, I guess if there was one criticism of this whole thing, it would be the charger. Because I did plug it in and it got seriously to the touch burning hot. And no bueno. There's really not a whole hell of a lot going on. When I come back off the road, I pretty much feel like a pack of dried suckers. Especially when it is particularly brutal with the driving. So I figure 11 hours yesterday in the car and then another three today, basically by the time I got done doing everything in Richmond and driving back to Virginia Beach. That pretty much takes care of me wanting to do anything for day job. I think they've gotten more than enough out of me today. So I'm not doing jack shit for day job for the rest of the day or the rest of the night. I mean, it's already after five and I will pick it back up tomorrow morning. I kind of almost don't even want to post anything when I'm on the road because I, there's nothing exciting going on. I'm literally just sitting in the forerunner, driving around, road raging. So, you know, how much can you can you watch that? You know, by the time I got to the hotel last night and got done with dinner and this, that, and the other thing, you know, and, and now, especially because it's start getting darker earlier, there isn't really going to be all that much for me to do. Now, that's kind of a lame cop-out excuse because I'm sure I can find something and I'm going to try to do that. But, you know, today, really, I got up. I left the hotel, I had breakfast, I drove back to Virginia Beach, and then I went on my skateboard for a little bit just to not be sitting anymore because I was going crazy. I have nothing else to do today other than just relax. So my wife ought to be home shortly, and then I need to eat because I'm freaking starved since I forgot to eat lunch. And that's the way of it. So that's all you get for today. I am trying this whole new angle right now. So A74 is right there. ZVE10 is now here. And what I did was I took the magical arm, that two armed magical arm thingamajigger, and I shifted it from on this side of the pillar to that side of the pillar so that it's coming at me from, from a little less of an angle over here because when it was coming from over here, this way, it was showing all the blue over there and the wall over there because this is pretty wide view. Now, where I have it, it's sitting, it isn't shifting anymore because I gorilla gripped the shit out of those, you know, little knobs. So it's gonna stay right there 
if it's right there, it's not showing up in the field of view of the a7 IV. It's not blocking my screen at the far end of the curb, and it's not blocking the TV. So it's actually now in a perfect spot. And it's also easier for me to put it on here and I'm not gonna bump into this. So again, forward and up, constantly tweaking, getting things done. And I just wanted to show you the new angle. I am going to be getting more stuff in tomorrow. I'll get those five quick release ball heads, those Yulanzi ball heads or fall cam ball heads, whatever, can't keep track and more stuff for the fridge and maybe another couple other things. I don't know, we'll see, but that's it. That's pretty much all you're getting. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember kids, forward and up.